Hello, I am Heidi Knight with Heidi Knight Custom Portraits and my daughter got married on December 28th. It is currently January 20th. I cannot believe it's been almost a month already, but I wanted to do a few videos for brides-to-be, moms of brides-to-be especially, about our wedding planning process, some of the things that went well, some of the things that didn't. And the first thing I want to talk about is wardrobe malfunctions and emergency supplies. So this is something that you may or may not think of, but emergencies might happen during your wedding day. We had two pretty major, significant, massive wardrobe malfunctions, and I want to talk about how we dealt with them. Everything in my emergency kit and my bride's room kit came in handy for those, and so I want to talk about what those things were, what the emergencies were, and how you can deal with that. So I am going to start with emergency number one, which was a bridesmaid and she had an emergency with her dress. So she was wardrobe malfunction number one. Her dress had spaghetti straps. She is out of state and she had not yet gotten to try on the dress. So my, my daughter, the bride, did have an extra dress in her car, but secret, it was not hung up, it was gonna need steamed, but she did have an extra dress in her car that we could have resorted to in the correct size, but we did not need to, but both of her spaghetti straps, one at a time, so we had to do them one at a time, broke right here. So I had things in my emergency kit and these things are kind of torn up now, but I had two things that you need to have in your emergency kit. The first thing is a sewing kit and make sure you have scissors. The scissors got used a ton. Um, they're not even in here. I don't even know where they are. We ended up having to use one of the other bridesmaids little scissors she had because I think they got lost pretty quickly. So emergency little sewing kit uh, comes in handy with scissors. Scissors are used a lot. Um, but this didn't cut it. So the more important thing, now I do think we still needed this. So you still need this, a little sewing kit. Just get one from the grocery store, Walmart, Target, Amazon, whatever, emergency sewing kit. But then the other thing, and this is like super dumped out, but multiple sizes of safety pins. So this was huge for me. Um, I have big, large, all kinds. They're all spilled out in a box. They were spilled in the trunk of my car heading home. But safety pins are your best friend. You need these. This is probably the most important thing, and there is no maximum number, like as many as you think you need. But at least this was a little package of a whole bunch of different sizes that I got from Amazon. So it originally was completely full. Uh, so we did end up using small safety pins on the back side to strap those. She has long hair. Nobody ever knew. Um, so that worked, we didn't have to resort to dress number two. Um, mother of the bride. I could do a whole series on mother of the bride, um, but I'm going to talk about the fashion emergency first, and then I'm going to talk about some things, if I were doing it over, that I would have thought about because I put myself last, as we always, always do. So moms, you need this emergency kit. So I had um, two dresses, but I didn't bring the second dress because I had originally bought a dress from JJ's house online. I actually had two uh, in pretty colors. They were flowy, they were beautiful, they were beaded, um, did not wear either one. So my husband uh, has a custom tuxedo with a white jacket and black pants with the pinstripe, white shirt. He was going to do a little pocket square to match my dress. And I just decided that these colorful dresses were not going to look the best with his James Bond tux. So on Black Friday, I went to Dillard's and found the perfect dress. So I got very lucky. It was the second one I tried on. Everything else was atrocious. So it was just luck, but it was a little more form fitting. It was black. It was off the shoulder. It was beautiful. So I'll show what it is. It's this little dress. I'll put some pictures in the comments. Our photographer's name was Vanessa Joy, Vanessa Joy Photography. If you're in the wedding industry, you already know who she is because she is a big time who's who. She was spectacular, but this was my dress. I ha It has some little ruching in a zipper. It's very stretchy, which is forgiving and nice. So it was very stretchy. I had lots of shapewear under there. And because it has a slit in the back, I had on pantyhose, but I originally had tried on black like tights, like the the higher power tights by Spanx. The black didn't look great under my dress with my black shoes, black dress. It just didn't look great. So I changed into my nude pair of pantyhose, which was just like regular control top. 
Um, and then I had a nude, because of that, the higher power comes up to here. Well, my nude pantyhose cut me here. Well, if you're like me at age 48, you need some more smoothing than that, especially in this region. So I had already bought myself just in case. I hadn't tried any of it on, so that's one of the things we'll talk about later. It all worked, but it, I, I'm glad it worked. I was lucky. Um, I tried on one of their waist shapers. It's just here to here. I was afraid it was going to roll. It did not roll. So it was amazing. So I recommend that. I have all kinds of things to say about that in a minute. But the dress, Avery, my 17 year old, who was the, the maid of honor, we're getting ready. The photographer's there. Um, everybody's dressed. And she says, mom, your dress is splitting out a little on your butt, right in the middle seam, right there. And I'm like, oh no. And she said, yeah, I can see some tan. Oh no. So I run in the bathroom and I start stitching. And so I stitch and I had super glue. So super glue is another thing. I had super glue. I went through and got, found a list of emergency kit things for a wedding and, and had everything. And I spent a lot of money on all these little nitpicky things from Amazon. And I'm so glad I did. I did not use everything, but what if I had needed something else? I would have had it. Um, so I stitched it and I super glued and I come out, but I, I did a pretty loose, fast stitch. She looks again after a little bit and she's like, oh, mom, I can still, uh, I can still see. And I didn't remember, I had nude colored things under here. So that black, any little gap was going to show. So I go in and I start safety pinning. Well, this went on, I had to safety pin three times. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. Now, this made it the whole rest of the night. Um, I'm really proud of myself that I didn't freak out. My wedding planner didn't even know that this happened. Um, I never really saw her anyway, but um, I never had to tell her or freak out, but I should have brought those other backup dresses probably. So if you have a backup dress, that would be a tip uh, for anybody. So here is what the inside of my mother of the bride dress looked like. Um, luckily, this all laid really flat and you had no idea, but there are 15 or 16 pins in this thing. There is stitches and there is super glue. So Yay, so your emergency kit is so, so important. And I just had to keep going in the bathroom. I would like take my dress half down, turn it around, start pinning it. Uh, it was a mess, but um, luckily the mother of the bride is not that important for the photos when they're doing the wedding party. So there's super glue up here. Eventually I'll, I'll stitch this up, but they just had one little row of stitching um, here in this little scene. So that was my number two wardrobe emergency. Uh, so that is a really important thing that you need to have in your emergency kit. Another thing that I recommend you consider if you are like me and you don't wear heels. So I wear, um, specially custom made, uh, art support orthotics in my tennis shoes, my boots, like pretty much, I don't like to not have some kind of art support. Even my flip flops are Archie's brand or Vionic brand or some other comfort brand that has an art support. So um, heels are a challenge for me. I'm also six feet tall. My husband doesn't really love it when I'm a lot taller than him or at least as tall as him. It makes him feel short. He's not a super fan of it and he doesn't hate it, but it's not his fave. So I had these beautiful heels. They were comfortable. They had like this little pad in here to stop you from sliding. I did not even make it through the photos in these. So that was too much heel for me. And even with all the comfort things, these are great date shoes where you're going to like walk in a restaurant and sit down. Um, I can walk in them great, but they're not great for a day where you're going to be on your feet a lot and then doing a lot of dancing. So luckily I kind of realized that maybe these aren't going to be the best. And the brand of these is Alex Marie, by the way, they're fantastic. I mean, I'm not dissing these shoes. They're wonderful. I'll wear them a lot, just not for things I have to stand a lot. But the pair that I ended up wearing even before the ceremony was this little pair they're Ross Homerson but I got them at the walking company and they're like little dance shoes they have a smaller heel they were still pretty and I made it almost all the way through the dance I did still take them off by the end so the last hour I was barefoot in my pantyhose oh well um let me talk through a few more emergency kit supplies so one of the things that was used a lot, so I probably can't even show you. Oh, here's the scissors in question that we're missing out of the sewing kit. Um, one of the things was um, blister pads. So here we go, blister pads. Like any kind of little uh, blister, shoe, uncomfortable thing. These 
um, a lot of these got used, so I don't even have everything in here. But the more blister patches you have, these are the little silicone clear ones, but moleskin would be another one that I would recommend to pad people's shoes. Um, that's a good thing to have. Uh, nail polish remover, my pantyhose did get a run in them, so I did use clear nail, nail polish remover. Hairspray also will work for that. That's a growing up in the 90s trick that girls right now who are getting married have no idea about because you don't wear pantyhose. But if you're ever wearing pantyhose or tights and they get a run and you don't have another pair, um, clear nail polish remover will stop that run from happening. Hairspray is another good thing to spray on there, just regular hairspray. Uh, here's another blister cushion pack. We use the heck out of these. So these came in very handy. Um, something we did not need to use, but I had was tied to go uh, sheets and pin. I had fashion tape, just in case, little pieces of fashion tape. I'm looking in here, we haven't cleaned this out yet, so I'm seeing extra contact lenses, um, my daughter's perfume and uh, her invitation and her wax seals for the photographers um, to take pictures of all her jewelry, plus all of those things um, for the lay flat things that they do. Um, those went in the bride's room. We had extra lashes. These are um, just little extra little trios. I don't know if those are showing up very well on the camera, but they're just little, the little singles if you need them. Mm, it doesn't want to focus. There you go. Uh, so those came in handy. Well, we they could have come in handy. We did not use them. Uh, lash glue is very important no matter what. We had bobby pins. We had Q-tips, we had a ballpoint pen, and I had a bunch of these little preloaded, I have these for my studio, a bunch of toothpaste preloaded toothbrushes, kind of like what the orthodontist office has. I ordered a box of these a long time ago, and you just almost never run out of them because they're great to take in your purse. Um, so I like these. Uh, so we have these. Um, we also had hairspray just in case, that's almost gone, so I think it got used. And here's my Tide to Go pen. And then this is something everybody tells you you need. It's the Asper Cream Lidocaine Spray. Oh, nobody got relief from this. So blister patches all day and comfortable shoes all day. Uh, the trick to your shoes, if they're not going to be comfortable, is you have to wear them a lot before the event. So Peyton wore her bride shoes, even though they were not a super high heel, she still wore them a lot before the wedding day. So they weren't super like perfect and pristine for the photo, but they looked great in the photos and that was important, but this sucked. So I tried to spray it through my pantyhose, so then they were all like kind of wet. It dries really fast, but it did not, I didn't notice any difference, like zero. Zero out of 10 on this. Um, 10 out of 10 on safety pins, scissors, super glue, nail polish, and um, the sewing kit. So that is what you for, need for emergency supplies. Um, last thing, and then I'll talk about mom of the bride things I wish I had done differently. I had a box of these at my chair and a box of these at my table. Um, that should have worked out and it worked out for the table at the reception, just in case I needed tissues. Um, they're pretty, they're unobtrusive. I thought it would work. Um, <laughs> I didn't give the memo to my mother-in-law and so she picked them up and held them throughout the whole ceremony and I didn't know she had them. So these were not available for me at my seat. So I wished I had just gone ahead and had a little packet of tissues in my purse that I carried in. I had a little clutch with lipstick and my cell phone, which was turned off. I was, I mean, off, off, not silent, not do not disturb, off. Um, nobody's phone rang throughout that event and I was really impressed by that. So everybody followed the rules. But um, tissues, if you're going to have a box of tissues, now they came in really handy, my sister, my sister-in-law, people in the audience before we were all walking in, like grab some tissues, got some tissues, that was great. But she didn't get the memo that these were my tissues and I don't really know why, but she picked them up. So have some in your purse too. I didn't want to be crinkling. So just have some loose in your purse, but you might need these. I came very close to crying and luckily did not like have tears slip out. So that was really good. I had no idea how it was going to feel. Um, okay. So mom of the bride tips for the wedding day. Number one, I did not try on my shapewear underneath this dress prior and I didn't really inspect it for any issues. So I would strongly recommend that um, you try it all on. My shapewear, which I don't know if I brought it up. I don't think I did. Um, my shapewear with that little waist shaping thing has some boning. I was in such a hurry at that point that I did not try it on. Like, I didn't even pay attention to how I had it on. So I don't think it was as smooth as it could have been had I 
paid more attention to that. Um, Moms of the Bride, I got at the venue at 9 a.m. when they opened. Um, hair and makeup artist was there. I thought I was going to have all this time to set up these little birch trees I had. I had five sets of three, so 15 birch trees to set up. I had all kinds of portraits and easels. There's some easels back there. I'm going to a bridal show tomorrow, so it's all taken down right now, but I had an engagement portrait for Above the Fireplace. I had a bridal portrait um, for the ceremony or reception site. I had a different bridal portrait and a bunch of couples frame portraits, large and you know desk sized. Um, for with easels, I had picture lights on them. So I had a lot to set up um, for the gift table and I had candles in addition to the floral along the aisle. They were all electronic, so they all had to be set out. We had already done batteries, thank goodness. Um, I let the groom and my husband help with that, but <coughs> I had all that to put out. I thought I had plenty of time. I can do all that. No, I had to call my sister-in-law who was staying close by and thank goodness for her. She was a lifesaver, but she had to come over and do those trees for me and help me with those candles because I did not have time. And so by the time it was time for me to get dressed, I was rushing. So a um, couple things about that I would say is number one, the more you rent, the more you don't have to leave with because leaving at the end of the night with all that stuff is a lot. <coughs> number two, the more organized you are, the better. So I did do well with that. We were not stressed out before the event because everything was labeled in its own tub. It said bride's room, gift table, cake table, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but as far as moms of the bride, I didn't try on all my stuff very well before the wedding. I did not go online and look up any hairstyles or makeup styles for myself. So I was drawing a blank for the makeup artist. Um, so I didn't, I mean, it, she did a great job and, and everything was beautiful, but um, know what hair and makeup you want um, and and have a better idea of that and then maybe have a backup dress just in case. I mean, I don't know. I think that might be important for everybody. Um, we got all the bridesmaids dresses for under $100 each for from Lulu, so that was great. Um, we did splurge on those. Um, the other, oh, another thing, we had matching little night shirts for all the bridesmaids to wear for some of the photos. Um, and then my daughter had a long white nightgown with a beautiful robe that was lacy that very much stood out from them. It was not matchy matchy with the bridesmaids. The bridesmaids had something that was pink and then my daughter was in the white. That was really pretty for the photos. I'm glad I didn't have to be in any of those, but I was in some getting ready photos where I was getting my uh, hair done. Um, I did not. So that morning I was like, okay, I'm going to wear these gray and white or I can't even remember what color. It might've been a different color. It might've been Navy. I don't even remember. I wore flannel pajama pants and a gray long sleeve t-shirt so like crew neck it was fine but I didn't think about what am I wearing while I get ready so if you're going to be at the venue getting ready you might want to have something cute to wear also you don't need to match the bridesmaids necessarily I think you need to stand out as mom but think about that um I think that's everything I can think of for right now mostly being prepared in advance and having more is more on that is really good so have everything for the the lay flat for the photographer, they got the necklace backwards. So that was one thing. The back is really pretty on this necklace, but the front has like little pave diamonds inset into it. The back is kind of an engraved type of thing. They photographed the back of the necklace, but everything else was perfect. And, and it is pretty, it's just not what it, that's not what it looks like. So, um, but those details, you know, the perfume, the invitation, um, all the inserts for the invitation. If you have a wax seal, make sure to have that. Ribbons, anything involved with that, the perfume, the jewelry. Um, and, and if the florist is there at the same time as the photographer, that helps. Our florist and our photographer weren't synced up. That's a planner issue. Um, but just know that, um, I'll get into planning and things like that in another video. So those are some tips I recommend. If you have questions for me, feel free to reach out. This is a very informal thing I'm doing just so that moms of the bride and brides can kind of start preparing. Um, but especially moms, 